In a daring announcement, scientists have boldly claimed the discovery of a new planet, one that defies anything previously known to humanity. This discovery has sent waves through the scientific community, sparking curiosity and excitement. NASA, a space agency with a long history of groundbreaking research and monumental findings, has revealed that this newly discovered planet is fascinating for multiple reasons. It isn't just its size or location that makes it special. The planet displayed light that seemed to be artificial in origin, something that has never been observed before on such a scale. This light is intriguing because it raises profound questions about the nature of the planet and what may be found there. Could this discovery be the key to unlocking the ELD secrets of the universe? Are we on the edge of a revelation that could entirely change how we understand space, time, and life itself? One of the most exciting aspects of this discovery is the possibility that it could indicate the existence of extraterrestrial life. The idea of life beyond Earth has fascinated scientists and the general public for decades, and with NASA's history of delivering stunning discoveries, many are eager to learn what this new finding will reveal. As we delve into NASA's amazing recent discoveries, it seems that we may soon come to understand the true nature of the mysterious lights and whether they could lead us to even more astonishing revelations about the universe. In 2007, NASA took another significant leap in space exploration by launching the Dawn spacecraft, a project with the ambitious mission of studying some of the most intriguing and enigmatic objects in our solar system. Dawn was equipped with cutting-edge technology, including three ion engines that allowed it to travel farther and more efficiently than traditional spacecraft. These engines provided a steady, gentle thrust over long periods, enabling the spacecraft to journey to destinations that were previously out of reach. Dawn's journey began with a 14-month long study of Vesta, the second-largest asteroid in the asteroid belt, a region filled with rocky remnants from the early solar system. Vesta had long been a subject of interest because of its size, unique features, and the potential to learn more about the early formation of planets. Dawn sent back detailed images and scientific data that revealed Vesta's complex surface, marked by craters, grooves, and ridges. This data also provided insights into the asteroid's geological history, which showed that Vesta had experienced a series of impactful events that shaped its current appearance. After completing its mission at Vesta, Dawn began what was arguably the most exciting part of its journey, a detailed study of Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt. The spacecraft's ion engines enabled it to leave Vesta's orbit and head toward Ceres in a way that traditional chemical propulsion systems would not have allowed. These engines allowed Dawn to travel great distances while conserving fuel, eventually enabling it to enter a stable orbit around Ceres, marking a new chapter in our understanding of the solar system. Ceres, which was discovered in 1801 by the Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, holds a special place in the solar system as the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. For many years, Ceres was considered the smallest of the dwarf planets in our solar system, but in 2006, it was reclassified. This reclassification marked it as one of the most massive and significant bodies in the asteroid belt. Ceres is roughly 950 kilometers in diameter, making it much larger than many other objects in this region. Its sheer size and mass alone have intrigued scientists, but it is its unique characteristics that have truly captivated their attention. One of the most surprising discoveries about Ceres came from the images and data sent back by the Dawn spacecraft. As Dawn approached Ceres, it captured the first detailed images of this mysterious world, revealing bright spots scattered across its surface. These bright spots were concentrated in a large crater known as a cater, which immediately sparked curiosity and speculation within the scientific community. Prior to Dawn, the best images we had of Ceres were low resolution and blurry, taken from Earth-based telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope. These older images provided little information, leaving many unanswered questions about this dwarf planet. The arrival of Dawn allowed scientists to study Ceres up close for the first time, offering the promise of groundbreaking discoveries that would deepen our understanding of the early solar system and the role that water may have played in the formation of planetary bodies. One of the key questions surrounding Ceres was the origin of its bright spots, which scientists believe could hold important clues about the planet's geological activity. Bright spots had been observed on other asteroids, but the ones on Ceres stood out because of their high reflectivity and prominence. 
The leading hypothesis was that these spots were composed of highly reflective materials, likely salts left behind by sublimated water. If this hypothesis were correct, it would suggest that Ceres had undergone, or was still undergoing, a process known as cryovolcanism, in which volcanoes erupt with water or brine instead of molten rock. This would mean that Ceres is geologically active, even though it had previously been assumed to be a relatively inert world. The possibility of cryovolcanism on Ceres has fascinated scientists because it opens the door to the idea that water or brine reservoirs may exist beneath the surface. If water or brine is present, it raises the tantalizing question of whether Ceres could support some form of life, even if it is microbial in nature. The discovery of these bright spots has thus led to a re-evaluation of previous assumptions about Ceres and has inspired new theories about the planet's geological history. Ceres stands apart from other objects in the asteroid belt, not only because of its size but also because of its composition and the potential presence of water and ice. Unlike most rocky asteroids in the belt, Ceres has a composition that is more similar to that of a comet, suggesting that it may contain a significant amount of ice beneath its surface. This comet-like composition is of particular interest to scientists because it could offer clues about the early solar system and the processes that shaped the planets. After two years of travel, the Dawn spacecraft finally reached Ceres in early 2015, marking a major milestone in the mission. The approach to Ceres allowed the spacecraft to capture increasingly detailed images of the planet, revealing a surface that had long been hidden in mystery. The early images showed a cratered surface that bore the scars of impacts that had occurred over billions of years. What captured the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike were the mysterious bright spots scattered across the planet's dark, rocky terrain. As the resolution of the images improved, scientists began to develop theories about the origin of these spots. Were they patches of ice reflecting sunlight, or could they be something more exotic? such as mineral deposits or evidence of cryovolcanic activity. As scientists studied the bright spots more closely, they were surprised to find that the brightest spot, located in the Akater Crater, was not a single entity but a cluster of several distinct spots. This discovery further fueled speculation about their origin. The most widely accepted theory was that these spots were deposits of salt left behind by the sublimation of water a process in which water transitions directly from a solid to a gas, bypassing the liquid phase. This suggested that Ceres may have experienced, or could still be experiencing, geological activity capable of bringing water or brine to the surface, where it would quickly evaporate, leaving behind bright, reflective salt residues. The discovery of these bright spots challenged the long-standing belief that Ceres was a geologically inactive body, prompting scientists to reconsider what they knew about this enigmatic world. The possibility that Ceres might have groundwater or pockets of brine beneath its surface raises important questions about the potential for life elsewhere in the solar system. Even if life does not exist on Ceres, the presence of water or brine could have implications for our understanding of habitability on other icy worlds. Ceres is an intriguing dwarf planet with an icy surface and a rocky, porous structure that sets it apart from most of the other objects in the asteroid belt, which are composed primarily of rocks and metals. Its surface is a mixture of water ice and hydrated minerals such as clays and carbonates, which give Ceres a lower density compared to its rocky neighbors. This unique composition suggests that Ceres contains a significant amount of water, possibly trapped beneath its surface in the form of ice. The outer layer of Ceres is rocky, but its porous structure suggests that there may be large amounts of water ice and other volatile substances trapped within it. This composition has led some scientists to believe that Ceres is more like a comet than a typical asteroid, and that it could hold important clues about the early stages of the solar system's formation. It is believed that beneath Ceres' rocky exterior lies a mantle composed of a mixture of rock and brine, which surrounds a core that could be made of denser materials such as silicates. This internal structure is distinct from other bodies in the asteroid belt and points to a more complex history of formation and evolution. The significant amount of water on Ceres also raises the possibility that it may have hosted liquid water in the past, particularly if its core was heated by radioactive decay during its early history. This potential for past liquid water, combined with its current geological activity, makes Ceres an important target for scientists studying the evolution of water in the solar system. 
One of the most intriguing discoveries made by the Dawn spacecraft was the detection of ammonia clays on Ceres, a finding that suggests the dwarf planet may not have originated in its current location in the asteroid belt. The presence of ammonia is significant because it lowers the freezing point of water, which could help support the existence of surface brines on Ceres. This discovery has led scientists to hypothesize that Ceres may have formed in a cooler, more distant region of the solar system and later migrated inward to its current position. Understanding the composition and history of Ceres not only provides insights into the dwarf planet itself, but also offers valuable clues about the processes that govern the formation and evolution of icy bodies throughout the solar system. The unique combination of water ice and ammonia on Ceres makes it an important object of study for scientists interested in learning more about the role that volatile substances play in shaping planetary bodies. Cryovolcanism, the process by which icy volcanoes erupt with water or other volatile materials instead of molten rock, is a fascinating phenomenon that is relatively rare in the solar system. Traditional volcanoes, like those found on Earth, spew molten lava, but cryovolcanoes expel substances such as water, ammonia, or methane, which can exist as liquids or gases in the cold environments where cryovolcanoes are typically found on Ceres. Cryovolcanoes likely erupt by allowing water, which is often mixed with dissolved salts, to escape to the surface. When this salt water reaches the surface of Ceres, it is exposed to the vacuum of space, where it rapidly sublimates transitioning directly from a solid or liquid state into a gas. This process leaves behind reflective deposits of salt, which form the bright spots observed on the surface of Ceres. The most famous of these bright spots is located in a crater called a cater and is known as Cerealia facula. This area has garnered significant attention because of its intense reflectivity in the periodic haze that has been observed over it. Scientists believe that these hazes are caused by water vapor sublimating from the surface, suggesting that cryovolcanic activity on Ceres may still be occurring or at least occurred relatively recently. In addition to Cerealia facula, Ceres is home to several other bright spots, each with its own distinct characteristics. These spots are not confined to a single region but are scattered across the surface of the dwarf planet, indicating that cryovolcanism may be a widespread phenomenon on Ceres. The presence of these bright spots has reshaped our understanding of Ceres, revealing it to be a more dynamic and geologically active world than previously thought. The discovery of cryovolcanism on Ceres has also raised important questions about the potential for similar processes to occur on other icy worlds in the solar system, such as Europa or Enceladus, which may also have subsurface oceans or water reservoirs. As the Dawn spacecraft continues to send back detailed images and data from Ceres, it has become clear that this dwarf planet has a far more complex and varied surface than previously imagined. Ceres' surface is marked by a variety of geological features, including craters, ridges, and plains, each of which tells a story about the planet's history and the forces that have shaped it over time. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe.